Good morning, you guys, and welcome to a day in the life 2021. <laughs> It is 6.29. I usually try and get up before the kids do for the day and it is just so that I can get ready for the day before they all wake up. And if I can get up a little bit earlier, even just like 30 minutes earlier, it's off to a good start. I just like to wake up a little bit early so that I can get coffee going for Justin and I or sometimes Justin will get it going for both of us because um, we're gonna need it. So usually if we do, we really do try and wake up before the kids. It doesn't happen every day, especially depending on how well the twins sleep. But if we do, honestly, it's just so we can get like mentally prepared because getting ready for the day without having like a moment to yourself and just going straight into it kind of stresses me out. I'm like a type A, I need like time to plan. <laughs> we had a hard time waking up today, actually. I think you snoozed twice. I've been having like weird dreams the last couple nights though that keep like will wake me up sometimes. So I feel like I'm not. I haven't been sleeping as well as I was like last week where yeah. I was getting up That's really early. Oh, it's weird. So it is 6:47 now. Emma and the boys all literally wake up within usually minutes of each other, right around seven. So we got about. 10, 11, 12 minutes before they're all awake. I don't know how, but Asher, typically, specifically Asher, always knows when we wake up before the kids, so I have probably just a couple minutes, like I said, and I always come over here to our little family calendar that we have and just kind of see what's going on for today. I'm gonna link this in the description box. It's one of my favorite things. I think I got it on Etsy, and I'm gonna look at the date and see what we have going on. So today, I think I have two things that are like big things, which are just Bo needs to go to the groomer in the afternoon, and Justin and I actually have a date night tonight, which has not happened since- Since Frozen 2 came out. Since Frozen what, 2 like came out. Year? Like over a year ago. <laughs> and that's just for my birthday, and then I will come over here and and I will check my personal planner. Justin got this for me for Christmas. It is a golden coil and I have it laid out in a little um, block schedule. And since I actually have a minute, I think I'll sit down and actually fill out this for the day, things that personally I need to do as far as work or whatever's going on. So a couple more minutes and I'll fill this out and I'll go wake up the kids or they'll wake us up because they literally all wake up you like exactly the same time it's wild i'm not kidding about this you guys it is 6 59 asher just sat up ruben is moving and i heard emma She's down like, the hall <laughs> so usually what happens is um i go wake up the boys because i'm breastfeeding so i feed them while justin gets emma up out of bed and emma has minutes of like <laughs> cuddle time very mm -hmm. like, needy and then she'll usually go in and sit she usually wants to come in and watch me feed the boys mm -hmm. so usually he'll grab her and then meet me in the bedroom Bring it over here. Turn it. Good job. 
for breakfast normally recently emma's been really into yogurt and oatmeal so we are gonna cook these up for them boys don't usually eat for another 30 or 40 minutes they don't get hungry pink what kind of what about this one Can you help me pull all these out? It's about nine o'clock right now. Boys typically go down for their first nap at 9.30. The mornings are their best time to honestly get things done because it's when they're usually in their best mood of the day. So Justin and I will take turns getting things done. Like, oh my gosh, there's so much laundry. I'm gonna put all of this away really quickly before their first nap of the day. Emma likes to help out sometimes. You wanna grab those? Can you grab those dirty ones and put it in here? And then when I'm done with that, I'll get their bedroom ready for their nap just so that it's really quick and easy, ready to go in the laundry. Thank you. Got it? Good job. High five. High five. She's starting to help with a little bit more chores around the house, but simple things like helping me unload the dishwasher, helping me clean up toys, <laughs> helping me put laundry away. Do you want to put away the socks? Yeah. Okay, go open that bottom drawer. You're going to put socks in that drawer, okay? Great. Okay. There's a sock, put it in the drawer. I'm gonna try and speed put this all away. Boys are both asleep, so I am moving into my next little like block period of time, which includes getting myself and Emma ready for the day. Justin is actually doing some work, so he's on a work call for a little bit, so it's just me and Emma while they sleep. Um, I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of makeup, not a lot since we're going out later, and I don't like having to do it twice, honestly. I also typically don't um, eat breakfast usually in the mornings unless it's just like a piece of fruit so I fill up my water and I'm just I don't know I used to be a big breakfast person I love breakfast food but in the mornings it's like I get kind of nauseous it's really weird so I am just gonna put on a little bit of makeup just enough to get through the day since I take Bo out later so I will have to be in public and Emma's just playing right there and in her room kind of running back and forth while I finish getting ready and Justin finishes up that call. I've got some clothes laid out that are really casual because like I said, I'm not really trying to impress anyone right now and I'll get ready ready later when we go out together. So I am just going to finish up my makeup and then I'm going to go get Emma dressed. Comfort is key. What do you want to wear? Yes. Oh, oh, we're gonna do your hair after we get dressed. Let's see, what are we gonna wear today, Emma? It's kind of nice out, actually. Here, let's wear this pink Stop flower it. shirt. Oh, and so good. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. Let me smell it. Mmm, yummy. Let's just stay comfortable today. We're not doing much. Then we're gonna wear this new pink shirt that I got you. I can't brush this girl's hair unless it's basically like fresh out of the bath, soaking wet, which is a bummer because I know she doesn't love it. It's just cold, honey. I know. Yeah. But otherwise, it gets super knotted. I know, honey. Almost done. 
it gets so knotted. So I don't usually use a spray bottle. I'll just dunk her head in the sink, but she's just wanting to hang out in here right now, so I'm not gonna fight her on it. Then I started using this in her hair. It's from Shea Moisture. It's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I got it at Target. I think it was like three or four dollars. Um, and this just one helps maintain the little curls, but her hair gets really dry at the back of her head. So I try and apply it most to the back of her head where I know it gets really dried out and let that sit for a minute and then brush through it. For her, I either use the wet brush or the um, tangle teaser, which is what I just got in the mail because it helps with those knots that she gets, especially right here at the back. I can already see now that this is not going to be fun because she slept on it funny. First day of spring and I just want to sing to everything that's moving every single little thing. Let me see. Now let me see. Oh, it's so pretty. I, I am strong. strong. I, I am brave. brave. I am tough. Oh. I am funny. funny. I'm smart. I'm smart. I am good. I'm good. I want some coffee, please. Okay, um, I want water. Don't drink it, just pretend. <laughs> of course you drink. <laughs> yeah. Look who's <laughs> away. So Coming down the hallway. Come on, Ruben. This guy takes his sweet time coming down. Ashley's usually stuck waiting for him. Um, excuse me, sir. This is not potty time. Come on, Ruben. Come on, Ruben. <laughs> They're coming out from their nap while Emma is hanging out. Actually, she's watching a little show before lunch. We usually let her watch an episode of, what's she watching? Barbie? Barbie dogs, I think. So she's chilling here, just watching her show. I'm gonna get started on her lunch. Boys don't really eat lunch yet. They only really have breakfast and dinner. Do you give up? <laughs> you got tired? You need mama to carry you the rest of the way. Don't actually know what I'm going to be making Emma for lunch. I heard that she requested mac and cheese. I don't know if we have any. 12 times. I don't know if we have any mac and cheese though. Oh, we do, okay. Well, I can make her mac and cheese. For lunch today, she hasn't had it in a while. We've got two. We got regular and we got Annie's. Let's go with the regular. Ready? Good job! You did it. Now you gotta mix it. Okay, hold this. Hi, moving. Hi, moving. Good job. Okay, now we gotta let it cook. Then eat, eat, eat. But first, we gotta wait. Oh! Wait for it to heat, 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 and then we're gonna eat. Justin and I usually try and make enough dinner the night before that we have leftovers for lunch the next morning. So we're usually eating either leftovers or like eggs or something like that for lunch just because buying meals for lunch and dinner is a bit much. So I think he's having an egg salad sandwich or something today and I'm having, this is like a bell pepper soup that I made two days ago and it's probably on his last leg so I'm gonna eat it up today. Finish it for lunch and then typically right after Emma eats lunch we get her ready for her nap. She naps now from around 12.45 or 1 until about 2.15 and then the boys end up napping at about 1.30. So they have a little bit of about, maybe like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour of overlap. That's my like work time because all the kids are asleep for just like an hour. It's a perfect time for Dustin and me to both get some work done. But today when they are sleeping, instead of working, I have to take Bo. He has a groomer appointment at one o'clock. So I'm gonna leave right after Emma goes down and before the boys go down so that I can take him and drop him off really quickly. It's not that far of a drive. And he needs it so bad. Boy stinks. Okay, we are trying to get everyone ready for naps, and I wanted to show you guys the reality of trying to manage these two at the same time when they're both tired, 
They're both hungry. It's not rainbows and sunshine. There's lots of crying and whining. And especially if I sit here, you'll probably see, they're both gonna fight over who gets to be held. I don't ever wanna paint my life in a picture where it's like, everything is wonderful all the time because this is stressful, especially when Justin's working and it's me and the three and they both wanna be held and Emma is, she's just a very dependent toddler in the sense of she loves cuddling and being held. She wants to be the baby a little bit sometimes. That's my hair. We calmed ourselves down already. We're already doing better. Just exploring the bedroom, playing around. I know, are you excited? You gonna go get groomed? <laughs> He's way too excited when we get here. Okay, we're gonna go in, take this boy to get cleaned up because he needs it, and then back home with the kids. Good job. Ugh, I always feel so bad dropping Bo off at the groomers. He gets super anxious whenever I drop him off. I don't know if it's just, I think that the vacuum possibly is really loud and it kind of freaks him out. So I always feel so bad leaving him there. And he's so happy when we get there to pick him up and he really does need it because they do things that we can't do, like brush him out and like trim him up in a way that it would just not be good if we attempted. Why can't I turn you off? He usually takes about an hour or two and this is again, this is like a couple every other week thing. This is not obviously a normal occurrence for us, but he'll be done soon. I'll come pick him up and we'll go home. Maybe Justin will come pick him up. It depends on when his doctor's appointment thing ends. Look who's home! Bobo's here! Kids were all playing in here, which is why it is a mess in here. They all woke up from their naps. We've been playing for a little bit. What time is it? Like four? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. So we tend to try and get dinner situated and figure dinner out by five to five thirty. So we've got about an hour to chill get dinner on the table, all of that. I actually don't know what we're gonna be doing for dinner tonight. We're like completely out of groceries. I did a, a grocery order. We have um, Walmart grocery delivery and it's not gonna be here till tomorrow morning. That was like the earliest delivery that they had and I didn't want to go to the store today because I knew we had things going on tonight and we had to take a boat to the groomer and all that. So Justin had work stuff. So all the groceries are supposed to get here tomorrow morning. So I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. We're gonna probably have to just find something or this is the hard part. I can't keep an eye on both of these kids. I don't think so, sir. You need to stay. We gotta have to start closing all these doors to prevent you from sneaking off. You can't do anything without them. You have to be so careful with this They're age, quick. <laughs> Whoa. I actually was just reminded by Justin that we are going out to eat. I've said that, but then I totally just blinked. So for dinner, Tonight we only have to figure out dinner. You want mommy to spin? What are we gonna do for them? We gotta make something. Yeah, I know. We're out of baby food, so I've been like making it. Blueberry egg muffins, or I what don't else know. do you want? I could make something. I've been making their baby food in the blend jet, it. and it's them, easy and cheap. <laughs> for her, I'm not sure. I'll find something to cook for her. That's nice, cause then we're good tomorrow morning. We'll get our groceries in the mail. Whoa! <laughs> These little eyes are. Hi. Hey, Asher. <laughs> That's so cute. Hi, but oh, Bye. where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma.
Emma. Emma. <laughs> we have started doing evening walks with the fam in the wagon, and it's been really nice to get out of the house. Just kill some time. It's a good workout for Justin because the wagon with three kids in it is not light. He has to pull a lot of weight. It's a workout for me too because Bo is a really strong one and he hates when Justin runs ahead. So he tries to pull me along with to catch up. Every time we walk like this, I think of when I was pregnant with the twins and Justin made me do this walk and I almost died. I almost collapsed. That was a different one. That was a two mile one. Oh what yeah, it was hell? awful. But it was in this neighborhood and that's why I'm just like, oh man. It's probably what? 4.45, almost five o'clock, so that'll be perfect. By the time we get home, we'll throw some dinner in the oven or microwave or whatever we decide on for Emma. And then Kaylee should probably be here not long after that. We'll head out for our little dinner. Don't know what we're gonna be picking up. Uh, I don't think we decided on it yet. Oh, you getting mad? Got them all dressed up all nice and warm in their little beanies and socks and sweats and sweaters and hats and all that jazz, cause it is, well, it's California cold. Yeah, yeah it's, that's cold for us. It's California. Here, right? Yeah. Stop, stop making fun of us. Right? <laughs> we are from here. We've got Bobo all nice and clean, leading the way. I think I mentioned earlier that we give the boys bottles before they go to bed. It's about six o'clock. It's usually when we give it to them. That way they have like 15 minutes to get their burps out or anything before we read a book and then lay them down. So it's probably like 6.05 now. They're drinking their bottles. They're both real hungry tonight. After they're done eating, like I said, we'll sit them up, let them burp and play for a couple minutes and then I'll read a book with them and Justin will, actually Justin holds it while I read and hold or while I hold them and then we put them in their sleep sacks. They put themselves down for sleep pretty well now. It's pretty impressive. And then after that, I'm in a rush to get dressed before we go out because like I said, I'm still wearing um, shorts and a sweater. Not a good look. Mr. Dreamboat Baby A and Mr. Dreamboat Baby B, we are ready to go to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. That's a tired face right there. If you guys didn't know this, if you're new here, we actually didn't find out the genders of these boys until they were born. So the day I had my C-section, we found out that Baby A was actually Reuben, which is ironic. Huh? Oh, excuse you, was a boy. And then even more shocks when baby B came out as a boy. It was like one of the best days of my life. I will never forget the day that you guys were born. The boys are down and the only person I trust to watch my babies has arrived. I love your babies too much. I know you do. You only get to watch one though. The other two are asleep. Annabelle insisted on her oh having my gosh. Auntie has something for you. What did you get? Elsa <laughs> And you got an Elsa shirt. And an Elsa castle. <laughs> Spoiled or rotten. I know. So obviously we don't normally have date nights because like I said, this is the first time we've been out since Frozen 2. Most so of our date nights pregnant. consider of us going to do things for the kids, like buying yeah. things for the kids or something oh, no. like that. Most too. of our date nights consist of us oh, yeah. watching Here, a in movie. The in but even bed. if we do go out, it's usually for the kids. So tonight <laughs> was nice shopping. because like we didn't have the kids. We got to like just kind of hang out. It was nice. It was freezing. It is cape. Freezing. It's cold like, outside. It's like what, 40? We obviously spent the night hanging out outside, but it was like 40, 40 something the night. Which is why I'm in my sweat. Cold. It is 10 37. So Emma went down for the night. Kaylee put down at probably like three hours ago. Yeah. And this is usually when I get most of my work done. I usually get a head start. You're usually done by now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be up pretty late tonight trying to get this video up for you guys. But that is a day in the life of kind of how we run our days. But I don't think yeah. we missed anything except for Emma putting her down since we went out tonight. Yeah. That's like pretty Evening rare. was a little different, but that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's about that. it. That's it. So I'm going to get to work on editing this video and try and get some to sleep before the boys have. They, they know. They know when you're 
you're tired because they tend to wake up more during the night. Is that anyone else's kids or is that just our kids? I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Good night. Yeah.